if an angel came down to me tomorrow morning and told me, Joe, today was your last day, I could honestly say in front of all these people, in front of you, that I, I've lived a happy life. Today is the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, and I thought that this morning while I was, while I was getting ready to come over here. Uh, I thought I've never done something bigger in my life than, than what I'm about to do today. I can feel it in my stomach, I can feel it throughout my body, uh, the excitement, the promise, the hope for what's to come. We gather this afternoon in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness the joining together of Joseph and Kelsey, to surround them with our prayers, and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. So the one thing that I think he's taught me most is just like how to unconditionally love someone. No matter what, I wake up and, and like that's who I want to be with and, and who I want to spend the rest of my life with. Kelsey, you are absolutely beautiful. The last time any woman took my breath away the way that you did today, when I saw you for the first time in your wedding attire, was when I watched your mother walk down the aisle to me. I never thought that I would find someone like Kelsey. I always knew I'd find someone, but I never in a million years thought it would be her. Um, and now that I know that she exists and that she's out there, there's no one else for me. Today you come ready to commit your entire lives to each other. Some people enter into marriage thinking that it's a 50-50 proposition, each party matching the others with half of whatever is required to make it through. But it's not. Marriage asks way more of us than a measly 50%. Oh, you look so. Oh, God, you look gorgeous. You look so. Oh, <laughs> no, you look gorgeous. You're so pretty. <laughs> Joseph and Kelsey have made their solemn vows to each other. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. I love you and I can't wait to see you. I know how amazing you're going to look. Make sure you hold me up because I'm very emotional today because I just, uh, I can't wait to start the rest of my life with you. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Oh yeah. You may, oh, you may kiss the bride. be my daughter and as long as I'm alive I will always be here for you. Kels, it's a blessing to have you as my partner. You'll never be alone. I will always take care of you. I will always love you and I'll always be there for you.